everybody. Welcome to another Goggles Goes to Europe. And uh, today we're in Groningen, Groningen, boy, not sure how to pronounce it. And we're going to, I believe it's Rotterdam in uh, the Netherlands. So this is kind of cool. It's my uh, first trip in the Netherlands to a destination in the Netherlands. So that's kind of fun. And uh, get a look at it. See, you know, maybe we'll go bunch, past a bunch of canals and things and see what we can that may be indicative of what it's like there because obviously <laughs> I've never been there. And uh, got a new skin going on here, uh, 8 Ball Express. I just thought it'd be kind of fun to do something like this. And I wanted to put a skin on this truck and do something different with it. And you see, I've got those uh, two slashes that go across the hood trim and on up the hood. Uh, just off opposite that eight and uh, the eight on the pinstripe so it's kind of fun thing I don't know we'll see <laughs> and uh, should hop in and get going because I think this might be urgent I can't remember if it's urgent or not I'll just get my head tracking sorted out here what's it doing there we go that's better. Yeah, you gotta have a reset button for Toby. It, it's not too good without it. I moved the seat. I don't know if I should change the mirror position. That's nah, all right. Let's go. Oh, throw on some lights. We got, uh, uh, what have we got on here? Wow, it's quite a bit. Um, would be close to 40,000 pounds, maybe a little under 38,000 pounds of yogurt. And uh, got a reefer on here. It's a uh, crone right. trailer. Thanks again to uh, Real Sim Pilot for that gift. That's Keep right. pretty epic. After 50 yards, turn right. Turn right. Now I think you can go right on a red over here. You just got to come to a stop. I think I think it matters that you have the uh, signal on. I'm not 100% sure. I'd have to test that. I like this truck it's pretty cool and uh, goofy thing is like I was going to uh, ooh, wow, that's a bad shift got to get the handle on downshifting this engine I haven't driven it much uh, lately I did a bunch when it came out it's the uh, ZMOTS 3176 Caterpillar Kind of liked it when it came out because it's got this great turbo whistle. Yeah, I gotta get used to the splits. I'm not too bad when I uh, uh, just go straight through the gears, but man, I'm missing it on the splits. I gotta pretty much drive it on the tack, unfortunately. Because uh, it's been a little while, I'm pretty rusty with it. Oh, I want to uh, slow down to something where we may not get a ticket. Let's see what we get here. Yeah, or we should be safe here at 85. Well, I gotta just jump out and have a look around. Well, there's canals now I guess that's one thing over here <clears throat> like where I live it's very dry uh, in the uh, south and east of us in the uh, southern Alberta and uh, they dig ditches like this 
and pump water into them for irrigation purposes. Uh, is it supposed to try to, to <laughs> instead of trying to channel water away? Although I guess they serve that purpose if there's like a heavy rain. But uh, yeah, it's kind of an interesting system they have where they uh, flood these irrigation ditches and then the various farms spread out and they're quite large and spread out. Um, they uh, have sluice gates or gates that they can open and they're all on a schedule of when they can draw water out of it. It's not like everybody can just go nuts and take all the water as they have to let the system fill up again and then somebody else gets their shot at it because other if they didn't do it that way uh, the guy who's at the end of the canal is going to be out of luck because everybody else will have used it so it's kind of organized the uh it's pretty interesting it's like you see uh you know if you're on the texas dlc or some of the other ones with those uh, the either the rotary irrigation system well i guess it's in other uh, states as well as texas but there's a lot of them down there similar scenario there's those kind and then there's the kind that just trundle right across straight across and come back in a straight line but um yeah i'm really enjoying this uh ets i'll look around a bit it's not a very long trip but uh Maybe uh, my friends from uh, the Netherlands can comment. And is there much forestry? Just look at all these trees. I just do you have forestry in the Netherlands, or do you uh, bring your uh, wood in? Because sure it looks like there's a bunch here, but I don't know if it's required to keep the soil stable from the reclamation from the sea or whatever, or if there's areas that can be forested. And what do you call that? Reforested? <laughs> oh, I don't, can't remember. It's where you, uh, well, obviously you'd have to do the uh, replanting. Uh, that just makes sense. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. Turn uh, right. How sharp is this corner going to be? Oops. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. Wow, that must be uh, Rotterdam up ahead. Oh, maybe not. We still got 116 kilometers to go. Oh, there's some windmills. Nice. In um, Canada here, there's a pretty strong uh, Mennonite population in southern Manitoba. And uh, I mean, they're across the prairies, but they're quite strong there and um, they have uh, a museum that you can go to and they have uh, some operating windmills and oh it's cool to get in those and see the big wooden gears and working away it's pretty amazing neat stuff really Yeah, it's nothing like museums that, uh, you know, celebrate the past and the technology and how we got where we are and the things that, uh, you know, how things used to be done. It's pretty, pretty spectacular. Oh, it just said over there with this, with this, oh, let's see if we can change the map view and uh, get Keep that left. up again. After Amsterdam. 50 yards, go straight. Uh -oh. Go straight. Amsterdam. I think that's... No. Oh, I'm trying to remember. I, where my neighbor is from. Across the back alley. I 
can't remember. Uh, I know, I'm pretty sure it's not Na Amsterdam. His wife may be from there, originally, before they met. They, um... Go straight. I think when they immigrated or emigrated to Canada, they, uh, I think two of their kids are already born. I think one was born here. But, uh, nice family. Nice kids. They're all grown up and moved away, his kids, and have kids of their own now. But yeah, I think uh, for my Euro thing here, I think I'm going to uh, start a new profile. I'm having problems with this one, and this is my, I made three profiles. One is my test profile, just to learn stuff. And that's what I'm in right now. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new one and pound in some miles. Because the thing that's kind of frustrating is when I go in the job market, because I've used that TSSE tool, that may not be the smartest thing to do. Um, this, what it's done is it's... Um, cause me to when I have my own trailer on I can't see jobs in the job market unless it's um, places that I visited originally like the six or eight cities I went to before I used the TSSE tool and since I used that tool the only way to get a job is to go to the actual city and you know what I'll do is I'll look around what what can I get without my trailer in the freight market and um, say, okay, well, there's a job there with that kind of trailer. So I'll put on that kind of trailer and go there and drive onto the spot and get the job. It's ridiculous. Not, not good. So I think I'm gonna start it over. I think I might uh, follow more what I'm doing with my uh, ATS uh, video channel and. Uh, if freeform, go go different places, see different things, drive different trucks. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. Turn right. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. Turn right. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. Turn right. I'm still turning way too wide Keep right. around After corners. 50 yards, turn right. Turn right. I learned that I can cut them a little closer. Let's see if I can do it on this one. <laughs> oh boy. Let's see what would be right about here. Yeah. That was better. Eighty kilometers an hour still Keep on left. this road. After fifty yards, turn left. Turn left. Turn right. Oh, that's a little better. After yards turn left all right something tells me we're almost there if I look turn at this left. industrial area here oh it's a port cool should be lots of work out of this town you have reached your destination all righty let's see what we're gonna do with this 
right over there. Alrighty. What's going on here? Oh man, I hate that thing that pops up. This mirror. I should adjust them. I can just lean over here. Okay, there we are. What did we? Yeah, yogurt, right? Okay. Let's, uh, what do we got to do here? Shut off the engine and drop the load. <laughs> Oops, it sounds so good. Eighty-three liters. Oh, shoot, I got that money cheat in this profile. Dope. Yeah, that's, uh, certainly, uh, more than the value of the, probably the trailer and the cargo. <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway, yeah, this skin was kind of fun. Just a fun thing to do, make something different. I did put my first skin up on Steam yesterday and uh, see how that goes over. I, um, I kind of like this, but I just want to do something simple. I uh, got the image of the eight ball online and then I put the circle around it and the little blue thing off the end just to give it some, I don't know, I, I'm, a, I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, but and I put one on the back of the cab, but it has to come down. It's too high. It has no blue thingy on it. But uh, other than that, yeah. Cool truck. Anyway, thanks for following along, guys. And if you haven't uh, hit like or subscribe, and you got this far, uh, and you haven't done one or the other, maybe do them. <laughs> that would uh, help the whole channel grow. Anyway, thanks so much for following along. Appreciate it, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.